Places everyone. Roll camera. Cue the true calling CBS 200 to intro. Sega Saturn. A video game console. Released by Sega. To Japan in 1994. And to North America and Europe in 1995. Sonic Gem and Sonic R are two examples of the many Sega Saturn games, both of which were released in 1997. Dreamcast. A video game console. Released by Sega. In 1999. Sonic Adventure is the best-selling game for Dreamcast, also released in 1999. PlayStation 2. A video game console. Released by Sony. In 2000. The second video game console in the PlayStation line. And Sony's second video game. Xbox 360. A video game console. Released by Microsoft. In 2005. Microsoft's second home game console. Welcome to the next generation. Of video games from Microsoft. <laughs> Nintendo GameCube. A video game console. Released by Nintendo. In 2001. Super Smash Bros. Melee is the best-selling game for the Nintendo GameCube. If you really want more, scream louder. If you don't bring out the fire. And light it up, kick it higher. Cause it was too late to give it up. That's my 2011 single. Scotty and Kate, make the next one say Raymond v. Raymond, coming right up. Uh, Scotty and Kate? What now, Sam? This isn't Raymond v. Raymond, this is True Calling CBS 200 to Productions. Sheesh. And shush the sheesh. That's my 2011 album. Scotty and Kate, make the next one say, where the girl's at. Right at you.
No. No. Saturn, not Dreamcast, not PlayStation 2, not Xbox 360, not Nintendo GameCube, not Azure, nor Jimmy Joker Red One Remix, not Azure, Raymond B. Raymond, not David Gula, nothing but the beat, not David Gula, where them girls at, not Hacken, beautiful, not Florida, no, not Trip Daddy, I'm a Fug, not Nicki Minaj, Super Bass, not Tail Cruise, Dynamite, not Chris Brown, turn off the music, not Dio, closer, not Azure, OMG, not Hacken, let's go. True Calling CBS 200 to Productions. You hear me? True Calling CBS 200 to Productions. Now get me the proper logo or I will beat the living rap out of you. Sam, Sam, Sam. You need to chill out. Jeez. Indianapolis, the capital of the state of Indiana. Located in central Indiana. What's next, Toronto? Next thing you know, they'll have Beijing, China. We're done. We finally got the True Calling CBS 200 to logo right. And that's a pretty good start to a load of bloopers video like this one. Anyone want to go to O'Charlie's? All aboard the Rafflecopter. Swap. WNED Logo Bloopers, Episode 6, Keeper of the PBS Logos, requested by Marty Tevz aka the JCP Gaming HD Not 2 from the Philippines, based on WVEC Logo Bloopers by TKB from Hampton Roads, Virginia. Quiet everyone, takes are coming. Roll camera, QWNED Logo. WKNO, a PBS station, in Memphis, Tennessee. Channel 2. Knowledge Television on PBS. Tap 
WLVT. A PBS station. In Allentown, Bethlehem, Eastern Pennsylvania. Channel 39. Also called PBS 39 Allentown. Public television from the Lehigh Valley. KTCA, a PBS station. In St. Paul, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Channel 2. Minnesota's main PBS station. Now Twin Cities PBS. WNET 13. A PBS station. In New York City. Channel 13. Power with impact. Since 1947. Marks the start of PBS as NET, National Educational Television, in that year. NET would later become WNET's main call sign in 1973, when NET would be defunct. WQED, a PBS station, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Channel 13. Best known for producing Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood with a Fred Rogers company, the PBS station of southwestern Pennsylvania. KBYU, a PBS station. In Provo, Utah. Channel 11. Owned and operated by Brigham Young University. KUED, a PBS station. In Salt Lake City, Utah. Channel 7. Owned and operated by the University of Utah. Utah's PBS station since 1958. With transmitter stations including KES Richfield and KUEW St. George. KET. A PBS station. Statewide Kentucky. Headquartered in Lexington, Kentucky. Explore Kentucky. Explore the world. Uh, Scotty and Kate? Yeah, Sam? Are you sure this is the logo that we are looking for? Um, possibly not. That's what I'm trying to say to you, Scotty and Kate. Get me the 2015 logo and stop acting around, you fools. Sheesh. Shush the sheesh. You shush the sheesh. K-A-E-T. A PBS station. In Phoenix, Arizona. Channel 8. Programs you can count on, count on you. Now Arizona PBS, owned and operated by Arizona State University. North Carolina Public Television. A PBS station. Statewide North Carolina. Headquartered in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Simulcast statewide on 11 stations. Learning for a lifetime. Now you can see TV. University of North Carolina Television. Connecticut Public Television. A PBS station. Statewide Connecticut. Headquartered in Hartford, Connecticut. Simulcast statewide on four stations. Jerry Franklin is the president. Originally, CPTV produced programming with British Children's Entertainment Company Hit Entertainment. Until they were transferred to WNET 13 in 2006 when they introduced a new logo. Now cut that out. OPV, Oregon Public Broadcasting. Oregon's PBS station simulcast statewide on five stations. Formerly known as OEPBS. From the Oregon Network. Scotty Problem, Sam? Is there something wrong? It's wearing thin, Sam. What's wearing thin, Matt Crowley? You. Don't make me come over there, Sam. Sheesh. And shush the sheesh. South Carolina ETV. A PBS station. Statewide South Carolina. Headquartered in Columbia, South Carolina. Simulcast statewide on 11 stations. With WRLK being the station marking their campus. Owned and operated by the University of South Carolina. KRA. A PBS station. In Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. Channel 13. The PBS station of North Texas. KCTS, 
a PBS station. In Seattle, Washington. Channel 9. This is the Northwest of PBS. Owned and operated by Cascade Public Media, previously KCTS Television. WPPT. A PBS station. In Miami, Florida. Channel 2. Serviced by South Florida PBS. Owned and operated by Community Television Foundation of South Florida Inc. South Florida's PBS station. Since 1955. What's next KLCS? KLCS. A PBS station. In Los Angeles, California. Channel 58. Hollywood's PBS station. Since 1973. Took over KCET Spotlight in 2011. Next stop, WJCT. WJCT. A PBS station. In Jacksonville, Florida. Channel 7. Jacksonville's PBS station. Since 1958. WEDU is next. WEDU. A PBS station. In Tampa, St. Petersburg, Florida. Channel 3. Serving the Tampa SP Petersburg area since 1958. KLRN. A PBS station. In San Antonio, Texas. Channel 9. The PBS station of Central Texas. Owned and operated by the Alamo Public Telecommunications Council. KLRU, a PBS station, in Austin, Texas, Channel 18, has a call sign of KLRN University of Texas, owned and operated by the Capital of Texas Public Telecommunications Council, responsible for many PBS shows such as Austin City Limits. WNHT, a PBS station, in Schenectady, New York, Channel 17, serving Eastern New York and Western Massachusetts, since 1962. MPT, Maryland Public Television. A PBS station. Statewide Maryland. Simulcast statewide on six stations. Headquartered in Owings Mills, Maryland. Responsible for Wall Street Week. Motor Week. Chesapeake Collectibles. Primal Grill. And many others. MPT still holds on to a lot of the programming of theirs. They sure do, Hanahibata. I agree, they also share a game. Let's see what comes up next. WETA, a PBS station. In Washington, D.C. Channel 26. Owned and operated by Greater Washington Educational Telecommunications Association, Incorporated. Responsible for Washington Week. Nightly business report with CNBC. And many others. What's next, WXXI? WXXI, a PBS station. In Rochester, New York. Channel 21. Owned and operated by WXXI Public Broadcasting Council. Serving the viewing customers of Rochester. Since 1966. Looks like we're heading to 21 Jump Street. To the 21st century of excellence. On PBS with you. KCET. A PBS station. In Los Angeles, California. Channel 28. Hollywood's PBS station. Since 1964. Responsible for Tavis Smiley. Among other things. WGBH. A PBS station. In Boston, Massachusetts. Channel 2. The power of public media. Since 1955. Has a sister PBS station, WGBX. Channel 44. Owned and operated by WGBH Educational Foundation. Responsible for Frontline. American Experience. Building Big. Antiques Roadshow. Think Twice. Mystery. Masterpiece Classic. Zoom. Curious George with Imagine Entertainment and Universal Animation Studios. Between the Lions with Serious Thinking Limited and Mississippi Public Broadcasting. Arthur with Oasis Animation. Nova Science Now. And many others, not to mention Nova. Nova? As in a nuclear explosion? Oops, I didn't just say that.
WTTW. A PBS station. In Chicago, Illinois. Channel 11. Owned and operated by Window to the World Communications Incorporated. Also as a sister PBS station, WICC. Also from Chicago, Illinois. Channel 20. The PBS station of the Midwest. Since 1955. Responsible for Word World. Nature Cat with DHX Media. Island Without Cars. And many others. WFSU. A PBS station. In Tallahassee, Florida. Channel 11. Also has a satellite station, WFSG. In Panama City, Florida. Channel 56. Owned and operated by Florida State University. Serving the capital city of Florida. Since 1960. Responsible for their programming they produce. Like Florida Capital. And others. WIPB. A PBS station. In Muncie, Indiana. Channel 49. Owned and operated by Ball State University. Serving the viewing customers of Muncie. Since 1971. Indiana Public Broadcasting is the call sign. KUHT, what comes next? KUHT. A PBS station. In Houston, Texas. Channel 8. Setting the viewing customers of Houston and Beaumont. Since 1953. Owned and operated by KUHT University of Houston System. Now Houston Public Media. America's second PBS station. That's a pretty good start to a U.S. television broadcast network like PBS. WPSX. A PBS station. In Clearfield, Pennsylvania. Channel 3. Serving the viewing customers of Penn State since 1965. Owned and operated by the Pennsylvania State University as a service of Penn State Public Broadcasting. Now WPSU. What's next? WGT. WGTE. A PBS station. In Toledo, Ohio. Channel 30. Serving the viewing customers of Northwestern Ohio. And Southeastern Michigan. And Southern Ontario. Since 1960. Greater Toledo Education is the call sign, and the owner is Public Broadcasting Foundation of Northwest Ohio. What comes next? KSPS. KSPS. A PBS station. In Spokane, Washington. Channel 7. Eastern Washington's PBS station. Since 1967. Committed to serving viewing customers of Spokane. Also has transmitter stations in Idaho. And Montana. Calgary. And Edmonton. We are proud of our Canadian heritage. Through our association with KSPS. Spokane Public Schools is the call sign. And the owner is Friends of KSPS Public Television. Alberta's got a lot of viewing customers for KSPS. They sure do, you don't all. Agreed. What comes next? Detroit Public TV? WTBS. A PBS station. In Detroit, Michigan. Channel 56. Southeastern Michigan's PBS station. Since 1955. For over 60 years. Detroit's only public television station. Now known today as Detroit Public Television. Has viewing customers in Toledo, Ohio. Detroit, Michigan. And Windsor, Ontario, Canada. With campus locations at Riley Broadcast Center. In Wixom, Michigan. Vermont PBS, what comes next? Vermont PBS, a PBS station. Statewide Vermont. Simulcast statewide on four stations. With head offices at 204 F and Allen Avenue, Colchester, Vermont. Serving viewing customers in Vermont. Plattsburgh, New York. And Montreal. Since 1967. From 1997 to May 2014, it was known as Vermont Public Television. And from 1967 to 1997, it was known as Vermont TV. Mountain Lake PBS, what comes next? WCFE, a PBS station. 
in Clipsburg, New York. Channel 57. Now known today as Mountain Lake PBS. Here come some scary logo requests. Ah! Not the 1983 Georgia Public Television logo again. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Stop mentioning me already in front of me. It makes my jingle grow even sicker. I will eat Georgia Public Television. It's the 1976 KWSU logo. Oh god, save us. That's right, Sam and Aegis. I'm back. And I have come for the both of you. Hot 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 hot. Also, I have one army of logos request. Here it comes now. Ah! Not the army of KBS logos again. Grab hold of the nearest cross. Alright, we've had enough of this. We are beating KWSU and army of KBS logos. Oh shit. What the? Alright, that's enough requests for today. Let's just get the WNEB logo right before anything happens. Yes, we got it right. Where shall we go out to celebrate, since we finally got the WNED logo right? How about KFC? Wise choice, Carlos. Let's go! Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the following logo blooper series. This is Jason from Cinemation Productions signing off. Catch you later.